Hello viewer, good morning. Today I am going to teach very good poem. That poem is VBI for you in this year 2020 examination. If you are a student of BSEB Bihar Board. The heading of this poem is the daffodils. And this poem is composed by the greatest poet of English literature, William Wordsworth. He was born in 1770 and died in 1850. He was also known as the poet laureate of England and he was the greatest poet of Romanticism. His poems especially focused on nature and romance of life. The sense of all poems of the poet to attract the readers towards the nature. Therefore, his poetry especially written to save the nature, save the natural object. Today, the heading of my poem is the daffodils. Daffodils is a flower, a very beautiful flower in yellowish color. Means you can also say that it is a simply golden color flower. And it is so popular in Europe that you find everywhere in garden, in lawn, in roadside, in hillside, in hillside, and everywhere as long as you see in your surrounding and also decorated several house and lawn by this flower. I want to explain each stanza of the poem and please you have a notebook and pen and copy it in yours for future years in the coming examination for summarizing. Dear viewer, I am going to also advise you that you make it by heart and show and show you will see your five marks and many other objective questions, many other two mark questions. Let us consider about the poem. I wander lonely as a cloud that floats on high over paths and hills. The poet wrote in the first stanzas that one day he was walking in a morning without aim like cloud. And when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, then suddenly the poet raced among daffodils, those are hosting the poet. Beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. These daffodils were dancing. These daffodils were spreading everywhere under labor, under trees, near lake, and all over surrounding. Perhaps these daffodils were dancing in the arrival of the poet. The poet became house of bond and he overwhelmed by the beauty of this flower. Then he said, continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way. Here the poet quote the number of the daffodils. He imagined that on the earth these daffodils are spreading like a star as we see in the Milky Way uncounted and in a marvel. They stretch in a never ending line along that margin of wire. Here the poet quote the distance between two daffodils and all daffodils is making a quay, making a drawn that rose from one place to another. The thousands saw at a glance, tossing their heads in a sprightly dance. The poet mentioned that he can see more than 10,000 and that number is uncounted and these all are dancing. This is only imagination. Maybe you think that how can power dance, but the poet may be imagined on dancing for own sake. The waves beside the dance, but they outdid a sparking waves in glare and poet could but get such a joke and company. It is very pleasant saying that any person who like nature, who love nature, may be not be without dance and their heart full of pleasure. Dear viewers, 
this poem is attraction of nature this poem advise you invite you that you also visit such natural beauty that place which full of nature like hills valleys flower trees garden and any other that in your surrounding the poet say i gaze and gaze but little what i was that to show me and thought the poet suddenly had a starish and in intuition says that what lucky he is to reach such beautiful place that for many memory and he memorizing this beauty for ever for often when i caught and i back and or fancy mood the flash upon in what i which bliss solitude and that heart bliss fails and turns with the daffodils this is the last stanza of the poem and the last stanza the poet said that after returning from such beautiful scenery after returning from daffodils often the poet was empty walkless without work then the sweet memories enter in his mind and he completely astonished and started to think about that beauty scene and was heart and soul he start to dance with that this poem also advises us this poem also suggests us that we also love nature we also love natural object by this i am going to over this poem thank you